welcome my new friend. <laughs> Who's your friend? Christina Hendricks, everyone! <laughs> Lovely to finally meet you. Look sensational, may I say? Well, thank you. No, you look great. I love your dress and everything else. <laughs> thank you. No, you. Hey, I was thinking. Of, it, I hope you don't mind this. I, I was thinking of dyeing my hair. Uh huh. And I was thinking of going red. Mm hmm. Is that your natural hair color? No, I. I'm actually almost exactly your. No color. way. Yeah. You don't have gray hair. <laughs> You know, I've, it's been red so long. I don't. I'm not sure what's happening under there, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a few have white you, hairs coming in at this point. Have you have you taken on the qualities of red hair people? Are you uh, cautious with money? And uh... <laughs> it's a joke. Relax. I did. I you know I, I was uh, doing a photo shoot the other day, and they said, you know, we really want it to be really natural and show her freckles. And I was like, oh, I don't. I not no, really don't red. Freckles, I freckles, don't have freckles. No. <laughs> freckles are where no. no freckles are where red-haired people store the souls of their victims. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> well, then I wish I had them. No, I wish do I you had play them. someone red-haired in this film? I do. Good. But Good. but but the ginger that you hear is actually Elle Fanning's character, who she's red in the film, and she plays my daughter. She's called Ginger. She's called. Ginger. They call people gingers who have got red hair in the old country where I'm from. They go, oh, it's a ginger. Look, he's a ginger. Or just a <laughs> just a ging. A ging, yeah. yeah. And then then they rhyme it with another word, and they, uh, yeah. yeah. It's usually sort of derogatory, right? It's not. It's, it's it's kind of joking derogatory. It's not really derogatory. It's kind of a, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <I> <laughs> Have you ever spent any time over there? I have. Well, we shot this film there, um, but I also lived um, in London for about a year. Really? Which yeah. part of London? I lived in Islington. I lived in Islington. I didn't see you. <laughs> and I was looking for you. <laughs> really? Where were you in 96? That's when I was... No, 96 I came here. Oh, no, no. Okay. I was That's in Islington why. just before that, though. I used to live up at, the, at the Cloudsley Road, just up at the top. Which part? Cloudsley Road, near the Upper Street, round the corner. Yeah, you were in the nice part. <laughs> I was. I lived right next to the women's prison. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Holloway Women's Prison. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah, it. Yeah. In yeah. fact, I was when we were shooting this film. I was in London, and 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 so many things have changed since I've lived there, and I didn't recognize. And then all of a sudden, we were going into this very shady sort of part of town, and I saw a prison. I was like, this is my neighborhood. <laughs> this is my neighborhood. This is home. Whenever I see a prison, I think this is my neighborhood. <laughs> well, that's nice. Have you traveled around Europe a lot? Have you done the European thing? Um, a little bit. I wish I could do more. Uh, you know, I've, I've done the larger cities and things, you know, Paris and, and yeah, Milan yeah. and things like that. Yeah. What about as, as you do. Yeah, yeah, no, you do. You can if you want. <laughs> what about uh, South America? You ever been there? I have never been. No, and I'm not a vibe. Would you eat guinea pig? <laughs> Really? Sure. Are you an adventurous eater? I don't know if I would eat guinea pig. They serve it like this. <laughs> I, think I, I think I would still do it. Really? I, th I think I would draw the line on a nutria. Do you know the nutria? No. Oh, you're going to want to look this up. Yeah, I am. <laughs> This is an animal that is, is rampant in Louisiana, and, and there's so many of them. It's like a cross between a beaver and a rat. And the okay. teeth are like, speaking of like, eh, it's like, ah. It's, it's like, it sounds like a guinea pig to me so far. It's like a, like a larger, nastier, scarier horror film version of a guinea pig. Really? And the, uh, uh, How do you know about this? Well, my sister-in-law is from New Orleans, and I went to New Orleans, and she said I love New Orleans. there was a time that um, they were trying to manage these, these critters, and so they were asking all the great chefs like Paul Perdome and, and, and Emeril and stuff, like, can you cook up the Bam. nutria? Bam! Guinea pig, right. <laughs> cook it up to, like, get rid of these and stuff, and people were just like, I'm not gonna and put they... that in my mouth. <laughs> 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 Let it go by, man. Let it go by. <laughs>
So, um, well, uh, New Orleans, though, I love New Orleans. They eat a lot of weird moped down there, though. They eat the frog's legs and the... Have you ever eaten frog's legs? I, I, ha I haven't. I've had, I've had uh, alligator, and alligator. I would think it would be a similar texture. I don't know. I lifted up the frog's legs to try it, and then I couldn't do it, because they don't just have the legs, it's the whole pants. Yeah. So it's like from the way... It's not just a frog, it's a frog from the waist down, so, you know. I would think, I would think that you would need... Because it would be so insignificant, you'd be... Well, I think they're quite... They're, they make them do squats. That's the cruel part of it. Yeah. They make them do squats and yeah. then they... Uh, but it's always oh, ghastly business. But to me, the, the cuisine in New Orleans is Oh, the man, I put on weight when food. I was there. Oh, oh you, can't, wow. you can't help it. It's the best food I've ever had in my life. What was that steakhouse that we went to? Yeah, that place. It was fantastic. <laughs> no, it was really, really good. So your sister lives down there? Uh, it, my my sister-in-law. Oh, right. Her family is from there. All right. Are they yeah. uh, weird? No, they're lovely. They're lovely. People are pretty weird down there. <laughs> no, I think I think they are genuinely. It's a little strange. I think the veil between you know this world and the next is pretty thin in uh, New Orleans. Well, I think New Orleans, unlike most American cities, really is its own thing. They have their yeah. own cuisine, their own architecture, their own music, their own language. Yeah. You know, they it's got a, that, like very, very special and unique place. They like, got that French kind of honey boo boo thing going on. Yeah. Sexy. Oh, do you? Oh, you? Oh, do you? Oh, you? Oh, you? Oh, you? It's weird. And all the voodoo. Yeah. yeah. What about music? Do you like the music? There? Do you enjoy jazz? I love jazz. Do you play a I musical like a little instrument? Zydeco even. Um, I do. I I kind of do. I, I play a little bit of accordion. Accordion. I know. Which so I could go down there and jump into a band right away if I. How the hell does that work? Accordion. How the... <laughs> That's you, not going to be the easiest instrument in the world for you to play, is what I'm saying. I mean, there's a lot of, yeah. It's, well, it's heavy. It's, I'm oh, just saying. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm just saying. I get it. No. I get it. I'm, I, listen, I'm in no way I complaining or casting any kind of aspersions. I'm just saying it's a, uh, you know. Well, technically, it is a very difficult instrument. I know it is. My, my friend Drew Carey plays the accordion and he tried to show me how to play it. It's very difficult. I said, you'll have to play with your own organ, Drew. I can't do it. <laughs> it is very difficult. It is difficult. Yeah. Um, and I'm not that good at it, but I'm, but I'm slowly learning. Could I watch you? <laughs> I wish I had something clever to say. <laughs> I think that every night of the week, if it's any consolation to you. Anyway, don't worry, we're out of time. Do you, uh, um, you want a Thanks. mouth organ, awkward pause? You want to throw frisbees at the horse? Oh, what was the first option? Mouth organ. Yeah. You want to play the mouth organ? Yeah. You, you can play the mouth organ. I'm, no. <laughs> yes, you can. Here, you'll be fine. Just, uh... Oh, a freshie. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they call them? <laughs> That's what they call them in New Orleans, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you got a little old, old fresh air down there. <laughs> All right, what do you want to play? That'll be fine. Christina Hendricks, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> this gentleman's upstairs breast. Peck area, yeah. yes. His pectoral muscle. His pectoral muscle, yeah, yes. Yeah. I, I gently stroke who's that. The, who's the gentleman with uh, whose man boob you fell? Uh, Chris Evans, who uh, plays Captain America. I don't, think he, I don't think he has man boobs, though. He's got firm well, chestly they, areas. Well, they were absolutely <laughs> enormous, though. Yeah. I mean, um... <laughs> you know, coming from you, that's a hell of a thing to say. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I... <laughs> For a man, my new friend! <laughs> Who's your friend? Christina Hendricks, Christina! Hi. How lovely to finally meet you! You look sensational, may I say. Well, thank you. You. No, you look great. I love your dress and everything else. <laughs> Thank you. No, you. Hey, I was thinking. Of, it, I hope you don't mind this. I, I was thinking of dyeing my hair. Uh huh. And I was thinking of going red. Mm hmm. Is that your natural hair color? No, I. I'm actually almost exactly your. No color. way. Yeah. You don't have gray hair. <laughs> You know, I've, it's been red so long. I don't. I'm not sure what's happening under there, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a few white you, hairs coming in at this point. Have you have you taken on the qualities of red-haired people? Are you uh, cautious with money and? Uh... <laughs> 
It's a joke. Relax. <laughs> I did, I, you know, I, I was uh, doing a photo shoot the other day and they said, you know, we really want it to be really natural and show her freckles. And I was like, I don't, I'm not oh, really ready. Freckles, freckles have, to me so far. It's the, like, a, like a larger, nastier, scarier horror film version of a guinea pig. Really? And the, uh, uh, How do you know about this? Well, my sister-in-law is from New Orleans and I went to New Orleans and she said I love New Orleans. there was a time that um, they were trying to manage these, these critters and so they were asking all the great chefs like Paul Perdome and, and, and Emeril and stuff like, can you cook up the Bam. nutria? Guinea pig, right. <laughs> cook it up to like get rid of these and stuff and people were just like, I'm not going to put they that in my mouth. <laughs> 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 Let it go by, man. Let it go by. <laughs> so, um, well, uh, New Orleans, though, I love New Orleans. They eat a lot of weird mopeds down there, though. They eat the frog's legs and the... Have you ever eaten frog's legs? I, I, ha I haven't. Don't. I've had, I've had uh, alligator, and alligator. I would think it would be a similar texture. I don't know. I lifted up the frog's legs to try it, and then I couldn't do it, because they don't just have the legs, it's the whole pants. <laughs> So it's like from the way it's not just a frog, it's a frog from the waist down. So you know. I would think I would think that you would need because it would be so insignificant. You'd be. Well, I think they're quite. Like, they're, they make them do squats. That's the cruel part. Of it. Yeah. They make them do squats and yeah. then they. Uh, but it's always. Oh, it's I was. I lived right next to the women's prison. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Holloway Women's Prison. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah. it. In yeah. fact, I was, when we were shooting this film, I was in London, and, and, and so many things have changed since I've lived there, and I didn't recognize. And then all of a sudden, we were going into this very shady sort of part of town, and I saw a prison. I was like, this is my neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. This is home. Whenever I see a prison, I think this is my neighborhood. <laughs> well, that's nice. Have you traveled around Europe a lot? Have you done the European thing? Um, a little bit. I wish I could do more. Uh, you know, I've, I've done the larger cities and things, you know, Paris and, and yeah, Milan yeah. and things like that. Yeah, what about As South you do. Yeah, yeah, no, you do. You can <laughs> if you want. What about uh, South America? You ever been there? I have never been. No, and I'm not a vibe. Would you eat guinea pig? <laughs> yeah. Really? Sure. Are you an adventurous eater? I don't know if I would eat guinea pig. They serve it like this. <laughs> I, think I, I think I would still do it. Really? I, th I think I would draw the line on a nutria. Do you know the nutria? No. Oh, you're going to want to look this up. Yeah, I am. <laughs> this is an animal that is, is rampant in Louisiana, and, and there's so many of them. It's like a cross between a beaver and a rat. And the okay. teeth are like, speaking of like, eh, it's like, ah. It's, it's like, it sounds like a guinea pig. Freckles. No. <laughs> freckles are where... No. no. Freckles are where red-haired people store the souls of their victims. <laughs> Well, then I wish I had them. No, I wish do I you had play them. someone red-haired in this film? I do. Good. But, Good. But, but the ginger that you hear is actually Elle Fanning's character, who she's red in the film, and she plays my daughter. She's called Ginger? She's called Ginger. They call people gingers who have got red hair in the old country. Where I'm from, you go, oh, it's a ginger. Look, he's a ginger. Or just a, <laughs> just a ginge. A ginge, yeah. yeah. Or then, then they rhyme it with another word. And, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's usually sort of derogatory, right? It's not. It's, it's it's kind of joking derogatory. It's not really derogatory. It's kind of a, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever spent any time over there? I have. Well, we shot this film there, um, but I also lived um, in London for about a year. Really? Which yeah. part of London? I lived in Islington. I lived in Islington. I didn't see you. <laughs> and I was looking for you. <laughs> Really? Where were you in 96? That's when I was... No, 96 I came here. Oh, no, no, okay. I was That's in Islington why. just before that, though. I used to live up at, the, at Cloudsley Road, just up at the top. Uh, which part? Cloudsley Road, near the Upper Street, round the corner. Yeah, you were in the nice part. <laughs> Ghastly business. But to me, the, the cuisine in New Orleans is Oh, the man, I put on weight when food. I was there. Oh, oh you, can't, wow. you can't help it. It's the best food I've ever had in my life. What was that steakhouse that we went to? Yeah, that place, it was fantastic. <laughs> no, it was really, really good. So your sister lives down there? Uh, it, my my sister-in-law. Oh, right. Her family is from there. All right. Are they yeah. uh, weird? No, they're lovely. They're lovely. They're pretty weird down there. <laughs> no, I think, I think they are genuinely, it's a little strange. I think the veil between, you know, this world and the next is pretty thin. 
in uh, New Orleans? Well, I think New Orleans, unlike most American cities, really is its own thing. They have their own yeah. cuisine, their own architecture, their own music. Their own language. Yeah. You know, they got it's that... It's like a very, very special and unique place. They like. got that French kind of honey boo-boo thing going on. Yeah. Okay. Sexy. Honey boo-boo. It's weird. And all the voodoo. Yeah. yeah. What about music? Do you like the music? Do you enjoy jazz? I love jazz. Do you play a I musical instrument? I like a little instrument? Zydeco, even. Um, I do. I, I kind of do. I, I play a little bit of accordion. Accordion? I know. Which So I could go down there and jump into a band right away if I... How the hell does that work, accordion? How the... <laughs> That's you... not going to be the easiest instrument in the world for you to play, is what I'm saying. I it's mean, there's a lot of... Well, it's heavy. It's, I'm just 